Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show you how to use a really simple digital whiteboard tool called Google Jamboard. It's really simple and we'll give you some ideas of how to apply it in the classroom. So let's get to it. So what is Google Jamboard? Simply put, it's a digital whiteboarding tool that you can use with any free or paid Google account that you'll find in Google Drive. You could use this device if you purchased it for your classroom or for a meeting room, or you can simply use the app through your tablet or your smartphone or a computer browser. Now the difference is with this tool, you'll be able to use Google Meet and collaborate with people in real time and have uh, special styluses that work with it and gives you all the features of Jamboard. Whereas on tablets, smartphones, and computer browsers, you get fewer features. But with all of them, you can collaborate with up to 50 people at a time, and you can edit anywhere, anytime, on any device if you have an internet connection. But these tools, for the most part, allow you to do a number of things, such as writing and drawing with or without a stylus, searching for images and web pages. You can drag and resize things with your fingers, great for little kids. Uh, there's image and text recognition for assistive technology. Um, you can Im embed Google Docs, Sheets, Slides into uh, what we call a jam. Uh, so it really is a versatile tool. So the question is, what kinds of activities can you do in your classroom with Google Jamboard? How about creating discussion with uh, individual response prompts or discussion boards where you assign a number to a student and they simply tap the number write in their thoughts and save it to the sticky note and then you have a class discussion. How about sketch noting? Works really nicely with a tablet, iPad and your stylus. How about infographics where you have images along with the numbers to put a bit of a human touch on important stats? How about observational skills? In this case we're looking at map projections where Students look at the different kinds of projections, decide what's, uh, you know, what's good and not so good about them, and then decide which one they think is the best. How about a labeling activity to show what they know or what they've learned? How about another labeling activity where, in this case, they use a stylus and they might you know, give their opinion about something? You can do mind mapping. How about a timeline where each slide in your jam shows a little bit of change over time? How about brainstorming? Throw in an image, throw in a question, and have students uh, work on the same jam to work together to brainstorm and get their ideas collectively. How about that first day of school where students can introduce themselves in a fun way using images and text using a jam? How about collaborating with another school in a far distant place where each school has a number of different slides in the jam to talk about where they're from? How about live note-taking? Works best with a stylus. We'll start with the laptop version because there's fewer tools you can use with it, and I think a lot of people are probably on laptops. So in Google Drive, click on New, then go down to More, and then go down to Google Jamboard. Click and open your jam. Give your jam a title. And so now you want to add some content. If you want, you can choose to put in a different kind of background if you'd like. I'm going to keep this one clear. I want to add sticky notes. So I'm going to tap the sticky note tool. I'm going to choose a color I like. And then I'm going to type in some text. Click Save. Tap Out. And then I'm going to tap on my sticky note to drag it to a place that I like. I'm going to change the size by grabbing a little blue dots and the one in the top left will allow you to rotate to be a little bit more creative. If I mouse over and click on the three dots, I can duplicate, edit, or delete it. I can double click to edit as well. Now I want to put in an image. So I go to the left toolbar again, click image. I can choose a photo, a photo from Google Drive, or I can choose a Google image search. I'm going to do my search for an image through Google search, choose the one that I like, and I'm going to click select. I'm going to drag that into a place that I want, 
maybe I want to put another one in. Now let's say I'm doing a presentation with this. Maybe I would use my pointer. So I go down to my laser tool in the toolbar and as I speak I can circle without actually drawing on the tool. Now maybe I want to keep that permanent. So I could go up to the pen tool and I could choose the color that I want. Let's go with yellow and I'm going to choose maybe my highlighter tool. And that way, if I want, as I present or as I just build my jam, I can highlight certain things that I want people to focus on. And I can do it with different colors. Now, let's say I want to add more frames to my jam. There's different ways to do it. I can simply go up here to where it says create frame, tap that arrow, and there I go. Any collaborator can do this. So maybe I want to add an image for my next topic. Let me choose the Mali Empire. I search for that. Maybe this is the image that I want. And I'm going to tap and I'm going to put that in. And wait for that to load. And I'm going to stretch that, make it a little bit bigger. And then I would go and add a little bit more text and that kind of thing. If I would like to put another jam in between different frames, or sorry, another frame between frames, I can tap that arrow at the top. And then I just click tap new frame and then tap on it push that up again and now I'm ready to work on that particular frame. If I don't like the frame simply tap on that expand frame bar again and go up to my three dots and I just click delete and I'm back to my two frames and I can scroll left and right by clicking on my arrows to the left and to the right. If I tap out I can keep working. If you work on a proper Jamboard device you can click open on a Jamboard Remember, if you want to share, you click the share button in the top right and you can invite specific people or a whole class or you can just change the link so that people can view just like any other Google tool. If you go to your three dots in the top right, click on that and you can download each frame as a PDF or maybe as an image file. And here's where you can delete or make copies as well. There's a little bit more you can do with the tablet or iPad version, so let's have a look at that. Thank you for watching the video. If you are a student or a teacher of subjects like history, geography, politics, and economics, you can find more resources on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. I hope to see you again.